Actually, I'm just going to do a quick video on the uh, electrical system. So that all starts with the electrical uh, solar panels. Uh, we have 600 watts uh, glued to the roof. It's just silicone caulk uh, gluing them to the roof. It's worked really well. This is our second trip. Uh, no issues uh, so far. So in attaching the solar panels to the roof, I used one tube of caulk, silicone clear caulk, for every solar panel. It's important to note that in the valleys, you're gonna caulk and make sure no air is getting underneath there because they could rip the panel up. But in the rear, you wanna leave those open for ventilation. electrical cables come through here they're all in series so it comes in at a pretty high voltage right now I'm pulling uh, 74 volts um, gets up over a hundred uh, but the, the cable cables come through here uh, the positive goes through this uh, 15 amp breaker comes up through here um, out of the charge controller uh, hooked to this fuse here um, two 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries here for 400 amp hours uh, from there it goes into the 12 volt panel which is just inside the cabin and then it's also feeding the inverter uh, it's a thousand uh, two thousand watt inverter um, and uh, also here feeding um, the heater here gas heater so just kind of need it's use it for a different purpose it's almost perfect for a little wabasto heater under there um, you can set stuff on it um, have uh, 120 volt coming over here there's two lines uh, one is back there powering this hot water tank and uh, the other one feeds into the cabin over there. So uh, let's take a walk around the cabin. So this was Terry's brilliant idea of putting this cabin cabinet shaving the back off. What I really like about this setup is the ease of wiring between this top panel underneath the cabinets and the inverter and the battery are right behind this wall. That makes upgrades and just general wiring so easy. So the total time to take to wire all this AC and DC was about two hours, um, which really is kind of nice having it all right in the same vicinity. The marine uh, breaker box panel here is really nice. It comes with all these extra labels so you can label it appropriately. A lot of them are marine based, which you don't have in this application, um, but it gives you plenty of options to peel off and stick on these uh, backlit markers here. The DC panel came with five 15 amp breakers and I'm adding an extra three for um, the other circuits. Here I'm wiring the main lights on a three-way switch. Um, this lower one's for future applications, but this one turns on the central lights up there. Um, and then they come around to the backside here at the bed. 
uh, and I can turn them off from here, um, which is really nice. And then I have a thermostat here, actually uh, indoor and outdoor. Um, the Wobasto control is here and the fan control we keep here. We also have a 12 volt um, plug there for charging things. The other cool things about these lights uh, is they do have a USB at the bottom of them. Okay, got the uh, DC all hooked up here. Um, the Xantrex control is uh, hooked up here. I've got the AC now hooked up. I've only got two circuits out of the three there provided. Um, keeping the uh, AC separate from the DC wiring because it's got a little backing. You can order this little um, plastic backing and it'll keep it much safer. You just need to, need to put it in now. All those wires go right through here, just behind the bed here. Makes it really easy. Wobasto comes out here. And uh, everything, for the most part, everything, for the most part, um, the wires are fed through the cabinets or underneath the cabinets. That makes it really easy to upgrade. The only things that are really behind walls or ceiling are these two lights here, which I can still fish wires through there if I had a problem. Um, also, the vent uh, is also um, behind the ceiling and then comes back through the walls here. Um, I could fish through these walls, but for the most part, almost all the electrical is behind cabinets. Um, or underneath the bed, which makes upgrades extremely easy. That's it for now. Next time we'll check out plumbing.